When it comes to popular questions on the internet, there's really no telling what you're going to get. In 1997, it was ASL. In 2007, it was Can I Has Cheeseburger? And today, what is a good lens? While there are many considerations to take into account before deciding on the right lens for your camera, we're going to focus on the subject matter of this show, automotive media. So then, knowing the goal is to capture vehicles, what is the best lens for your camera? Well, truthfully, it still depends. Are you looking for that sweet, shallow depth of field? I love how nothing important is actually in focus here. Maybe you're just trying to defend the continued use of your cheap kit lens. Two words, image stabilization. But maybe, just maybe, there's more to all of this than buttery bokeh or bundle deals. This is the most versatile and best all-around lens on the market. This is the 24 to 105. Need wide for interior or rolling shots? It can do that. Feeling like a purist so nothing shorter than 50 millimeter will do? It's got you covered. Stuck too far from the action and want some extra reach? Look no further when you're trying to look further. F4, hard pass. Hey, I get it. Bokeh is neat. You know what else is neat? Being able to see the whole car in focus. Seems awful expensive for a glorified kit lens. This is true, and possibly the most valid argument. Lenses like this should be the kit lens. So why don't manufacturers do that? Listen, I get it. Fast glass is faster. Primes are primier. But in a world filled with dirt, pollen, mold, upset stomach, diet, wait, no. I hate changing lenses outside. And if you also find value in location scouting and showing off the full car, you probably stopped down your lens enough to share this frustration. So join me in both widening your horizons and focal ranges and narrowing your attention and depth of field on the best lens on the market, the 24 to 105.